guys. Whew. Sorry, it is like 90 billion degrees in Arlington today. So I may have like a very luminous glow to me. It's sweat, it's no magical product. It's just sweat. Welcome to today's video. If you did not know, my husband James and I are about to embark on a trans global adventure to Vietnam. And we live in Washington DC and to get to Vietnam, it takes a very long time and a lot and lot, a lot of hours spent on an airplane. So I wanted to kind of show you guys what I am packing for the trip because for a long haul, super long, super horrible flight. We fly from here to Tokyo, which is a 14 hour straight flight through. And then we have another like six, six and a half hour flight from Tokyo to Saigon. So we will be spending a lot of hours on the airplane. So I wanted to show you what I'm packing in my bag so you can kind of have an idea if you are going on a long haul flight soon, what to keep in your bag, what kind of bag to use, all that jazz. I've done a lot of flying and a lot of traveling, so I feel like I have a good amount of experience at this. So I thought I would just share with you what I am keeping in my bag and that's it. So if you guys would like to see what's in my carry-on, I'm also gonna do one of these for my checked luggage just to show you like kind of like what makeup and clothes and shoes and stuff I'm bringing with me to Vietnam. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But if you'd like to see what I packed in my carry-on bag, then just keep watching. So carry-on bag wise, I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't wanna have a suitcase in the overhead bin and then a giant bag underneath. I just wanted to have a bit of one bag to carry with me through the airport, through all the transfers and crap that we're gonna have to do that will hold everything I need and be very compact and good and perfect for my needs. So I went on Amazon and I got this backpack. It is from a brand called Shoo Shoo, uh, classic and functional. It's kind of like a knockoff Fjall Raven Kanken bag. Um, it's waterproof fabric, really sturdy. I'm really happy with this. It was very affordable, like less, like maybe 30, less than $30, 30-ish dollars. Um, and I'm really happy with it. It has top handles so you can carry it. It has padded straps, it has a padded back, and then it has a bunch of pockets to keep all of my goodies in. And I wanted to carry a backpack and not a purse because we're gonna be traveling all throughout Vietnam and I'm gonna have my big heavy camera on my front and I just wanted something that was gonna keep my hands free. And that, but this, but I chose this backpack because it would look chic with like my outfits. James can carry it also, like when we're traveling around, we can keep all of our necessities in here. James can carry it and it's like a masculine enough colors that it doesn't like make him feel weird. Not that he really would feel weird about carrying a pink backpack, but it's very neutral, goes with everything. So I'm really happy with my purchase on this backpack. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm keeping in here. In this front pocket is where I will keep my snacks. So right now I just have like some Nature Valley bars and some like of those energy drink packets that we can dump into water bottles because the jet lag is going to be real. The jet lag is going to be real. It's a 13 hour time difference. So that is going to be an adventure in and of itself. Um, the bag also has these like water bottle pockets on the side. So when we buy water bottles to drink, we can have them on the sides of the bag here. And so there's that front pocket in that. And then when you go inside the bag, it has all sorts of goodies and spaces to store things. So I'm just kind of like gonna walk you through what I have, where I'm keeping it, and all that jazz. So in the front of the bag, there is a zipper pocket in the back, a Velcro pocket, and then a smaller zipper mesh pocket, and then like a little slidey pocket where I'm keeping everything. So in these pockets, in this pocket I have a my phone charging cable, some headphones, and then I have my extra uh, SD card and this little dongle that plugs into my phone so I can take uh, photos and video directly off the card onto my phone so I can edit and post and everything. And then I also have a compact mirror just so that I can like touch up my lipstick or pop a pimple or just make sure I don't look crazy. This is for like funk, not just for on the airplane but like while we're there. But it's always nice to have a little mirror just to make sure you look presentable and fresh at all times in all places. And then in this pocket, I have a pair of sunglasses. These are from Sojo's on Amazon. And then just pens for like my notebook. And then when we need to like fill up boarding cards and stuff, I like to carry my own pens. 0.38, thank you Dana for turning me on to those, is the best. So that's what's in here. In here I have my Kindle. Um, I bought a Kindle, I bought this Kindle two-ish years ago when I was traveling in Europe because I wanted to be able to read and like read homework assignments and like read PDFs and watch shows and stuff all in one place. I love to read from like physical books, 
but when you're traveling for extended periods of time and like on really long flights the worst thing ever is when you like finish your book on the way to your location and then you just kind of have to lug it around the whole time and bring it all the way back so I love my Kindle because I can have like 12 books on here and I don't have to actually carry around 12 books. I can also like download Netflix shows. I can watch stuff on the airline, like my personal streaming device thing. So this is really awesome. I just have the cheapest Kindle available. I think I bought it for like $40 on Prime Day. It's just the Kindle Fire, whatever the cheapest one is. It's last, it, the battery life is not the best, but I've had this for two years and it still works great. So highly recommend a Kindle if you're gonna be doing a lot of traveling. And then I just throw through this little sleeping mask in there as well. Uh, I usually don't use these. I'm a pretty good sleeper without them, but there's no harm in having it. It was just like laying around the house. So I figured I would take that. I also have a little uh, microfiber cloth in here so I can clean my sunglasses and my screens. I just hate having like fingerprints on everything. And then in this zipper pocket in the back here, I have my passport just so that it's um, secure, but easily accessible at the same time. And that's everything I have in the front of the bag. And then in this big main compartment, okay, everything I have in the front of the bag is now falling out of the bag. But in this big main compartment is kind of just like a jumble of stuff. So I have my notebook, which may not seem like a necessity, but for me it is just to have like all my information and stuff in paper form. I always write like my flight times and reservations and addresses down in case my phone dies. I have them in my notebook. Um, I'm also taking with me a little coloring book and some markers just because sometimes you get really tired of looking at a screen and since I'm reading on my Kindle like my eyes are gonna get tired of looking at a screen on this 14 hour flight so I have that as an option just to like distract and I can listen to an audiobook and color that or whatever a hairbrush just to, like to keep myself looking refreshed and not disgusting um, an umbrella it's supposed to rain a lot while we're in Vietnam so I'm just gonna have this ready to go in case it's raining when we get there whatever um, my wallet, I, I downsized to the smallest wallet I have. It's not super big and it really just has cards and stuff in it. Um, and I kind of am just assuming that while we're like out walking around, I won't even have to carry my wallet because James can have his and that'll be fine. But downsized to a small wallet. Um, I have this little mini first aid kit that I got at Target for like a dollar. It has band-aids and gauze and alcohol wipes just to like in case my clumsy behind hurts myself in some way. Um, I have baby wipes to wipe down like tray tables, hands, just keep myself and my area clean. Um, this is a little travel plug adapter. I think the plugs in Vietnam are the same as they are in the US, but I'm not sure. So this is just like handy to have. If I don't need it, I can return it. Um, I have my spare camera battery and charger here. In this side pocket on the inside, I have a hefty little portable charger so I can charge my Kindle or phones on this guy and then this charger will also work on my Kindle so I don't have to bring two. Just got one charger for both of those guys. And then this pouch. This pouch is the last thing in the bag and then I will also put my camera that I'm filming on right now in the carry-on bag as well. But this pouch has like all of my liquids and gels and necessities for keeping myself feeling refreshed and hygienic and happy and content during the flight. So this is just a little clear pouch that I got in a gift set that I bought from Sephora with the brand Way. It kind of says it on there, but you can't really see. But I like that it's clear so I can just throw it in TSA and they will be fine with it. But in here I have in this little pouch all of my like hair ties and hair clips and bobby pins just in one place so I have extras. I have this little mask from Fresh. It's the Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. This is really like refreshing and hydrating and so I have that just it's like a spruce up right before we get off the plane or something. I can do that. Um, toothpaste. I also need to throw a toothbrush in here. I just have my spare one not with me right now. Uh, tissues in case like need to blow my nose, wipe my hands, whatever. Here. Hand sanitizer. Mouthwash. Again, just to like freshen up and not feel disgusting. I also have, I have for some reason three chapsticks in here. I know that's unnecessary, but there's like two tinted ones and a normal one chapstick. I'm just going to keep them all in there because I'd rather have too many than too few. Um, I have a hand and body lotion just like if I start to get dry. Plain air is like disgusting and dry and so lotion is good. Eye cream to keep my under eyes hydrated. This is my Willie to Skin Food Moisturizer. This stuff is amazing. It's very thick and very nourishing. It has a lot of like oils in it but I really like it and I'm just going to like drench my face in it for the whole flight and hope that I don't 
dry out into a crisp. Um, and then I also have the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask as another just like moisturizing treatment. And then these are just some sleeping pills because... I want to sleep for as many hours of this 14 hour flight as possible and I'm not ashamed to take a little knockout pill to do so. And then last but not least I have a little perfume just to like freshen up and not smell disgusting and I need to throw a deodorant in here as well. And that is it. So that is everything I am packing in my carry on for my trip. Um, also my camera will go in here because I'm not checking that under the plane. But yeah, so that is what I'm packing in my carry-on. It all fits in here really nicely. It isn't too heavy and it's everything's easily accessible. I have everything I need to feel like refreshed and pampered on the flight, but also like entertained and organized. So that is what I'm keeping on my carry-on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more travel related videos that you would like to see, leave me a comment down below. I'm more than happy to do them for you. I love travel. It's like my favorite thing ever. So I'm happy to share all of my tips and wisdom with you guys. If you haven't seen any of my other travel related videos, I will link them in a playlist over here. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for some really great videos from Vietnam. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video.